But just life here is a miracle. How I can start speaking Hebrew? How I can learn Hebrew? How? How is that possible? How is that possible? Why will I even have a desire to learn Hebrew? And to study the syntax of the language. Why? I can't do that in myself. I can't do that. I can't do it. It's not John. I can't do it. It's Yeshua. And Paul saw that. And Paul knew that. And Paul said, all that I have as crime, I count it as dung. It's not me. I abase and he rise in me so every time Paul did something he didn't take credence no credit he attributed it unto Yeshua it's not the physical world and your intellect and having degrees your degrees that you have must take precedent in the relationship with Yeshua and when it does you see an Adam, an Ish, an Ishi for who they are. And you know what? You start to stir the water. You start to arouse the water. This water. And that which is in it in every man. The word of Hashem is written upon the heart of every man. The physical word. And what stirs it? The water. Who have the water? Who have the living water? We have to live in water now. He lives in you. Because, because he lives, you shall live. Read the book of John. He said, it is expedient that I go, that when I go, I'm going to send another and another. In the, in the Greek, it speaks of the same kind, the same gender. And he's going to speak of me. And he's going to lead you and convict. Bring comfort. Bring joy. Shamach. Listen. The water is stirring. You over the internet. You who are looking. The water is stirred. And the only way you can get this water within your very person. You got to be willing to become not Barak, bend thy knees and say, Hashem, Hashem, have mercy upon me, a dysfunctional human person. I need life. Listen, no one could do it for us. No one could do it for us. You got to want this. And I say, want. Because the need is as a result of your want. We doesn't know we need food until we want it. When you want something, so because that which we need, we don't ever pay it any man. It's our wants. We live in a culture which only cultivates our wants. We don't even know what is a need. Water is a need. Yet still, what the people in this country with all the showing you? They need water. But what are they drinking from? Raffines and what are they drink? And they're still living. How is that possible? And we we call ourselves Talmudim. We call ourselves Ben Yeshua's sons of Yeshua. We're evil. We're wicked. Because we become so fat. We become like the world. We only acclaim and ascribe to our what? Intellects. Our academical achievement. And all that which we glory in. And we dismiss the water. The physical word. This physical word. We don't want to stir it. You know why we don't want to stir it? Because we don't want to disturb our comfort zone. And our comfort zone is taking us, our children, children, and all those who are looking at us. Where? Straight away 
from him who designed us. Make a plead. Hear Hashem's word. Hear Yeshua Mashaki. Let this Ruach HaKodesh prick your yet sword. And you have an intellect. You know what is right and you know what is wrong. Nobody, you don't have to go to the church right where you are. You know what I'm communicating to you. I'm not here to persuade you. I'm not here to, to tell you you have to. You don't have to. You don't have to because you can willingly reject. And if you reject, so be it. I care for you as a human person. I will continue to care for you as a human person. However, all I can tell you is that he designed you to be an effective mover on this earth and to fulfill your purpose as a man, as a woman, as a Talmudim, as a disciple.